Lesson one, addition of whole numbers. A plus B, A and B are called addends. So we have a name for A and B, A is addends, B is addends, okay? And now we have whole number addition properties. The first property is closure property. If A and B are any two whole numbers, then A plus B is a unique whole number. Now here, for example, phi is a whole number, three is a whole number. So we add together, we equal eight. So eight is unique whole number. Next commutative property of addition of whole number. If A and B are any whole numbers, then A plus B is equal B plus A. So for example, phi A is phi, B is three, so this is equal eight. And then we take a B is three, and then plus phi, which is equal eight. So therefore, we can see a five plus three is equal three plus five, which is a is equal eight, okay? This is called a commutative property of addition. Next is associative property of addition of whole number. If A, B, and C are any whole numbers, then A plus B, parenthesis plus C is equal A plus B plus C, parenthesis. So therefore, for example, A is three and B is two, and we put on parenthesis there. And plus C is equal one. So therefore, we will have five plus one, which is equal six. Now what about A plus parenthesis B plus C? We can see A is three and then plus parenthesis two plus one, which is equals three plus three. Oh, again, we have equal six. We have a same answer, which is equal six. All right. Now next is a property is called identity property of addition of whole numbers. There is a unique whole number zero. The additive, uh, additive identity uh, such that for any whole number a and a plus zero equal a is equal zero plus a. So that means, you know, zero is unique number. So you take a number, any number plus zero, and you got a number itself. For example, you know, we have five, and you plus zero, the answer is still five. You have a six plus zero, the answer is still equals six, right? Okay. So those are uh, all the properties, you know. Next, uh, we're gonna talk about methods, uh, whole number addition methods. So first of all, we have uh, draw pictures, draw pictures. Now draw pictures, for example, we have five plus two, right? What does this mean for children? We can say five apples. So we draw pictures for five apples, all right? And we're gonna add two more apples. So how many apples in total? And then you, have, you can have a kids to count, okay? So you based on uh, draw pictures, okay? So this is a, uh, we can do for kindergarten or first grader or second grader, you know, low level, you know, to draw the pictures. Next, make tick marks and count by five. So five plus two, we can um, make tick marks. So one, two, three, four, and five. And then two is this. And we add together is how many? Which is equal seven, okay? Make tick marks. So that would be 
Uh, another way we can do for addition, what about a plus nine? A plus nine, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then nine is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And eight total, eight total, eight together. And we can get uh, uh, 17, all right? 17 tick marks, that can come by five, all right? So once we wanna come by five, here is five, and another five, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we come by five, another, another five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five, and left over two. So that will be the answer, okay? And next is uh, count up or use a number line to count up. So one, we want to one, uh, count up for this. So for example, uh, we can take a, a plus three on the number line, all right? So number line like this, okay, would be, Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. So now eight. What's the A mean? Eight means from here, let's say we have let's say we have a rabbit. If here rabbit is going to jump, all right? So here jump eight, right? And then plus three, plus three, that means we counting up, counting up by one, by two, by three, so ended up 11, all right? So we can use the picture, show the kids of doing eight plus three like this, all right? So did you see this is a label, you know, from easy to difficult. So label is different, right? Then what's the next level? The next level we can see is decompose, compose or regroup. So we can say, uh, here is example A plus nine, all right? Now we can compose, we can decompose because this is a nine, right? This is a nine. So we can decompose A is a seven and one. Why we decompose is seven and one? Because this is a nine, right? So I know nine plus one is equal 10, right? Right? So therefore we have 10 plus seven, which is equal 17, right? We decompose A, right? Now, can we decompose, can we decompose nine as a seven and two as well? Yes, because we can take a and two make it as a 10, all right? And then we, we decompose nine, then we compose again. So therefore plus seven, oh, we still get answer 17, 17, all right? Now what about six plus nine? All right, I give you a minute to do it. So can you decompose six? Yes, all right, I'll decompose six. Six as actually is what? We decompose five and one, right? We take a five and one. The reason we take a five and one, because we can, well, you know, nine, plus one is equal 10, right? So we have a 10, make together would be, add together would be 10 and plus five. So we got a 15, right? So this is a one way we can do by men, help children with a mental computation, right? Now what about uh, next difference from 10? Difference from 10, right? 
Now difference from 10, we have a plus nine equal how many, right? So difference from 10. So uh, actually we, I know eight is two away from the 10. Nine is one away from the 10. So difference from 10, A is two away from the 10. So one minus two. Nine is one away from 10, so minus one. So minus two, minus one, so minus three total, right? So minus three in total, so therefore, we have 20 minus 20 minus three, which is 17. Did you get it? Difference from 10, right? This is another way of thinking. This is another way of strategy. We can help children to understand the concept for this, all right? Now, next uh, is a latest method, latest method. Now, latest method, you know, you would uh, like a latest method, like you have a 23 and you want to plus 87 and you have a latest like this. Thank you, Jordan. Latest. This is latest method. So, three plus seven, which is equal how many? It's ten. So put on one and zero here. Two plus a is equal how many? Which is ten. So put on one and zero there. Right. So what's the final answer for this? The final answer will be right here. So I'm gonna change a different color. All right, change a different color for this. The final answer, we added our total here is a zero. One plus zero, which is we added up this way. So eight, one plus zero is equal one. And we add up this way, one plus zero is equal one. The final answer is one ten. So this is once. This is a tens. This is a This is a hundreds. Okay. Let's do another problem. Twenty nine plus seventy eight. Again, we want to do the latest method for this. The latest method for this. All right. So nine plus a, how many? 17, put on one and seven. Two plus seven, how many? Nine, so put on the zero and nine there, okay? The next, I'm gonna change it to color, all right, to do the addition. So here is seven, put on seven right there, right? Here is nine plus one, nine plus one, which is equal 10. So put on the zero, Resolve here and remember one there. So one plus zero, one plus zero is equal to one. So answer is 107. All right. Let's do another problem. Let's do another problem. 37 plus 94. And I'm gonna use the, again, we're gonna use the latest method for this, slash, like this, okay? Now I'm gonna use a different color. Oh. So, seven plus four, how many? 11, pull out one, one. Three plus nine, how many? Which is 12, put on one and two there, right? Add it out the total, so that'll be one. Two plus one, three. One plus zero, one. The answer is 131, okay? So 
So that is the uh, latest method. Next uh, is left to right addition. Left to right addition, right? So I'm gonna go to here, more space, left to right. So traditionally, like, uh, you know, you wanna do a problem like this, 47 plus 95 is equal how many, right? Now, this, the traditional way is right to left, right? So you take a seven plus five, which is equal 12, all right? So put on one there. So nine plus four plus one, which is 142, right? That's the traditional method, all right? Now, what about Traditional way we are doing this way, right? From right, left, right to left. Now here, what about left to right? Can we do the problem for this one? Yes. We can do this way, all right? Four plus nine, how many? 13. So put on 13 there, right? 13 there. Now, next. Seven plus five, how many? Which is equal 12, which is equal 12. So 12, we'll put on two there and cross this out, we'll make it as a four. 142, right? Let's do another problem for left to right, okay? Now left to right is another way of doing addition Okay, now for example, we want to do one, two, four, a plus a nine, five, seven. All right, so I'm gonna change the different color to do the addition here. We take a plus nine, a plus one, which is equal nine. Okay, sorry. Then next, we taking care of, you know, carry immediately. So you won't forget, the, you know, to carry. So in this way, you can help children to see, okay, that's a different approach you can see. So nine plus two, which is 11. So put on 11 and we carry right away, you put on a 10 right here, right? And next, four plus, Five, which is equal nine, okay? So we, this time we don't carry anything here, but next, seven plus A, which is equal 15, 15. 15 put on a five, remember, we have to, you know, change this as a zero, carry on, and then next will be equal to, right, change this. So one, zero, two, zero, five, okay? Let's do another problem. From left to right, to left to right. Three, five, five, eight. Okay, so that nine, nine, five, six. So we're gonna do this problem. Okay, nine plus three, how many? It's a third, 12, all right, 12. Nine plus three is 12. So now, next, nine plus five is 14, 14, 14. So we put on a four there, and then because of 14, so we cross this out, make it as a three, all right? Five plus five is equal 10, put on the zero there, post this out, make it as a five. Six plus A, how many, which is equal 14, put on a four there, post this out, make it as one. So the answer is a one, three, five, one, four, okay? One, three, five, one, four, okay? 
So that's the way how we do the left to right method. Now, what about, can we do combine left to right and right to left? The last one was combine left to right and right to left. Yes, we can do this. <clears throat> so here is the problem. We can do combine three, five, six, eight, nine, four, five, seven okay and we want to combine this all right let's say we're gonna add the number from here from the middle okay from the middle all right so let's get started can we meet at the number from the middle yes first of all can we do can we do uh Actually, I would do two different color and then have you to have you to take a look, you know. So we will do left to right first. Okay, left to right. So left to right, five plus four, how many? You know? Six plus five, how many? Eleven. Eleven. So put on the one and cross this out and put on the zero. Okay. Now seven plus a how many? Which is fifteen. Put on the five there and cross this out is equal to two. Okay, so that is the from. Uh, we ended up left to right okay, like this. Okay, and then next, I'm gonna do the different color. I'm gonna do right to left. So here, since we already add this. So we are gonna do nine plus three. Nine plus three is equal how many? Which is equal 12, right? So add it up the total would be one, three, zero, two, five. Okay, one, three, zero, two, five. Okay, so the answer will be this. Let me do another. Okay, so now here is a problem. Let me see, I'm gonna change this, okay? Three, five, six, eight, nine, four, five, seven, okay? And then this time I'm gonna add from here. Okay, from here. So here I wanna do right, uh, I want to do okay. Sorry, I'm going to do one more time. Okay. Eraser is not working. So here, here, yeah. okay. So I'm gonna do nine. Uh, I want to do this problem here from left to right. Okay, left to right. So now six plus five, which is equal how many? Eleven. A plus seven equal how many? Which is equal 15, 15. Remember 15, we cross this out and like this. Okay, put on two. And next, I wanna do right to left, right? So four plus, four plus five, which is equal nine. Okay, then nine plus three is, nine plus three is equal how many? Which is equal 12. Now add it up the total, we have five, two, 
Okay, nine plus one, zero, which is 10. Put on the zero there and then move, change this into three. And then this is a one. So one, three, zero, two, five. Okay, we still can have the answer like this. So this is a combination of left to right and right to left, okay? Let's do another problem. <clears throat> Let's say I want to do three, five, six, A plus seven, four, four, seven. Okay, and I want to add in the final middle. All right, how we add the final middle, All right? So this is a give a student another way of thinking, all right? Different level of, of doing calculation for whole number. So in the middle, six plus, so we wanna do, again, we wanna do uh, left to right for this. Six plus four, which is equal 10. Seven plus eight, which is equal how many? 15. 15 put on a five, change this into one. So, are we done? No, we have to do this. We have to do it the other way. We have to do right to left. Now, right to left, we have a five plus four, which is equal nine. Seven plus three is equal 10. Add together, we have five, one. 9 plus 1, which is equal 10, will be next carry to next place value, which is 1, 1. So we put, which is equal 1, 1, 0, 1, 5. Okay. Let's do uh, another problem. So say I want to do 3, 5, 6, 9. Plus two, four, three, seven. All right. Again, I want add from the middle. Can we add from the middle? Yes. So again, we have left to right. Left to right. How we do left to right? Five plus four, which is nine. Six plus three is equal nine. Nine plus six. All right which is 16, but on the six, remember one, one plus nine, which is equal 10, 10, 10 plus one, 10, which is next place value, nine plus one, which is equal 10, right? And then next, we're gonna do <coughs> right to left, right to left. Now, we already done from here to there, right? So the only left over is five plus three, four plus two is equal five. Add together, what's the total we have? Is it zero there, is it zero there? Is six, zero, zero, and six. So the answer will be six, zero, zero, six, right? So that is the combination of left to right and right to left methods, okay? And I hope you enjoy this video today. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, thank you.